My mind is not working at the moment. It's like I can hardly think. And it's super fascinating to observe this state of mind. And this state of mind inspired me actually to now talk about this sense of honoring your present experience of life. And it's a very interesting observation that I have made in the last couple of months or years that is kind of part of a sense of integrating my psychedelic experiences. Because in my psychedelic experiences, in many of them, what comes out is, is the sense of true authenticity, right? Feeling like fully being myself and then allowing myself to express that in the moment, whatever state that is, whatever state of mind or the body. A lot of the times in psychedelic journeys, I act on certain intuitions. Got to be very careful with those intuitions because they, they can lead to very profound decisions and profound transformative or life-changing decisions, which you might not be ready to take on <laughs> at the time. So careful with those in the ceremony itself. But afterwards, just like these little things, I came to appreciate those little intuitions a little bit more. These intuitions that tell me something about my state of my body or my mind or my spirit and what it needs in the moment. So with like this personal development, self-actualization, even with spirituality, back a couple years ago, and I, I think still in the scene there's this sense or I had the perception that some things had to be a certain way. Um, for example, a discipline in eating or a discipline in practice, right? Or a discipline in habit of reading, of journaling, of exercising, a specific way of doing things or a specific way of thinking things or acting on certain intuitions or not or feelings or not. But what I came to appreciate is this integration of honoring myself and my state of mind and allowing myself to express that. So for example, a very simple example is this sense of eating. Sometimes I, I really have this sense of hunger and I'm like, I'm really hungry and I want to eat now. And sometimes it's okay to fast for a little longer if that's appropriate. But sometimes acting on that animal, animalistic feeling of being hungry and then going there and then <clears throat> obviously looking at what my body truly needs. And that's most of the time that's not sugar or unhealthy food, but really good, nutritious, healthy food. But then allowing myself then to act on that animalistic intuition and feeling and appreciate the fact that I have access to food and then appreciating the food that I have available. And then, oh, after eating, I feel so tired. Instead of pushing through with a little bit of caffeine, what I am doing regularly as well, right? But instead of that, sometimes I'm allowing myself or listening to my body, or I would like to just lay down in the sun for a while and, and take a nap outside in the sun. Oh, that would be beautiful. But I can't allow myself because I have to do the personal development habits, the practice, right, the work. No, just when I get this balanced sense of listening to my body, oh, I took a nap, I feel energized afterwards. I feel more balanced, more aligned with my state. Or I am very sharp at the moment. I have very clear thinking at the moment. Why not work on a working issue that needs a little bit of problem solving, brainstorming, a little bit of planning and thinking. I feel inspired to do that. Oh, 
So I do that. And while I follow that, even though I might have to do a video or I might have to work on the website, the thing that I'm inspired to do and which my state of mind is appropriate to, and when I honor that and follow through on that, I enjoy the process more of what I'm doing and I get it done with a sense of ease, with a sense of flow, with a sense of enjoyment as well. I'm really enjoying it because I was inspired in the first place. Listening and honoring this uh, intuitive sense that sometimes the body, sometimes the mind and sometimes the spirit is giving. And it's interesting because when I reflect back I can't remember what it was like back then when I was following through on a lot more bad habits or unhealthy habits, right? Bad is a very weird term of playing video games, watching porn or eating unhealthy food, right? Is that what my body or my mind truly craved for? I don't remember. But nowadays I've come to place in my life and my development and through the psychedelic journeys where this sense of uh, what's truly in alignment with my being is really in tune, right? The sense of intuition, the sense of knowing what the true self-expression is like. And then this, this balance between having this discipline in the practice, in the reading, in the working, and still listening to this sense of my body of Oh, I'm excited to follow through on the intuition to eat something, to practice something, to read something, to work on something, even though that might be not on the schedule. That's where this art of balance lies. That's just an interesting stream of thoughts that I wanted to share today. Honor your present state of experience and this sense of intuition as well, because that's what the psychedelic journeys have shown me. A great way that I got a lot of more clarity regarding this is coaching. Coaching is a wonderful process and this it's kind of a process of this self-discovery, of really getting in tune with yourself and then having the insight of what's truly aligned with your current state of experience and then allowing yourself to appreciate and honor that and follow through and plan a goal or a state of action after that. So if you're interested in that, there's psychedelic coaching available that I'm offering. Link is in the video description. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. I'm going to honor this state of not being able to think clearly right now a little bit more and just sit down and do nothing for a little while. I just wanted to get that out there. Much love. Thank <laughs> you.